A forum held at Columbia Senate on August 14th saw victims of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia seek a greater voice in current peace talks between the government and the guerrillas. A common theme among those who spoke was the demand that security service members be considered victims of the conflict. For retired National Police Major General Luis Mendieta Orvaji, who was captured and held for almost 12 years by the FARC, those whose human rights have been infringed should be considered victims. Mendieta does not believe that the same applies to the guerrillas. Illegally deprived of their freedom, subjected to torture, cruel, inhumane and degrading treatment, kidnapped, are used as human shields to provide police and military operations. We are considered victims of the FARC. Yet while it may make for a compelling case, according to human rights lawyer Francisco Rodriguez Cuella, it is not valid to place any of the armed actors involved in Colombia's conflict in the same category as its civilian victims. Soldiers, guerrillas, paramilitaries, even mercenaries are armed actors and their protection in the war follows the guidelines of the Geneva Convention. It does not follow the legislation that protects civilian victims of a war. De Ginebra. No obedecen a la normatividad general que protege sí a víctimas civiles de la guerra. Yet with the issue of victims currently on the agenda at talks in Havana, security forces members continue to demand their inclusion. Whether members of Colombia's security forces are included in the negotiations in Havana or not, their status as victims will likely be something that's debated for a long time to come. This is Charles Parkinson for Telesur English in Bogota, Colombia.